Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new episode that's not coming this week, but the week after. We're going to be talking about the trailer, the photos, the synopsis, the synopsis for another episode after. So it's like a whole massive Flash video for you guys. I thought I would wait and sort of save it up to this one big video. Also, I want to thank you guys for 100,000. It's crazy that we got there. I think in the next week, I'm going to be getting some sort of email. Apparently, this is what Pagey said, that once you hit 100,000, they, like, check your channel, and then they, you know, give you the tick next to your name, and then they send you the plaque within the next few weeks after that. So it's absolutely mad that we've made it, and I want to say thank you for your support. If you watch these videos every day, or if you just tune in every now and again, hopefully you know now we're back and we've got 100k like we can just make videos like every day and just continue doing this and hopefully you guys stick around every single day whenever the videos come out whether it's the flash or whether it's supergirl or whether it's like the new superman show i'm planning to cover that or like the green lantern show or something like that you know any of these shows whatever i cover thank you for your support if you watch any of those Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So first off, we're going to be talking about the trailer, and then we'll get into the photos, and also we'll get into the synopsis for this episode, and the exorcism of Nash Wells, which is very interesting, because that's a really good title. Okay, so basically in the trailer, we get the return of Wally West. The episode title is Death of the Speed Force. I think that's possibly the best and most intriguing title we've had in like years because it actually suggests so much and there is so much mystery behind it because we don't know is the speed force gonna go is it gonna die or is someone gonna die in the speed force like what's up why is wally back just due to the speed force so we're gonna have to find out in this episode and this trailer does suggest there is something wrong with the speed force as wally says in the trailer so wally returns to see his family you get this nice hugging shot of barry and him as they reunite, I think they stop something from crashing or something like that. Barry sees Wally and then they're just super happy to see each other again. And throughout the trailer, there's lots of different sort of hints to things happening. Wally's back, he's in CC Jitters, he's there with Joe, Cisco, Barry, and they're all there. And they're looking at some sort of device and basically they figured out that there is something wrong with the Speed Force. And then in the trailer, it actually cuts to the other day, like the other episode when Barry's like hand started sort of twitching. It lit up with lightning. And I sort of just played that off as like a one-off. Like, I don't know why that happened, but it just did happen because he was angry or something like that. But this suggests that, yeah, there is something wrong with the Speed Force. And that is the reason why Wally has returned. And so Barry in the trailer is very kind of confused as to what's going on because apparently he's done something but he doesn't know what he's done. Barry in this other shot is wearing a tachyon device and I'm pretty sure this might be a new one. It kind of looks a little bit different, I could be wrong on that. But this could be linked to one of the lines in the trailer that Wally says. He says, Barry, what did you do? And so why would he be wearing the tachyon device? Like, is there a natural reason for that? Or is he just wearing it for the sake of it? I feel like there is definitely going to be some sort of reason. But he is using it and the lightning is sort of coursing throughout his body and everything. He's in the special room. So I don't know why he's wearing it. He has to catch up. He has to be faster. He has to like time travel somewhere. I'm not sure. But it's really intriguing and I can't wait to see what the actual result of this scene is. Like why is he wearing the tachyon device? And so yeah. This is sort of all that the trailer suggests. The trailer, you know, suggests that the Speed Force is beyond repair. You have Barry doing some sort of mistake, probably related to the Tachyon device, definitely related to something with the Speed Force. So is the Speed Force going to be destroyed? I don't know. I don't think so, but, you know, there is a possibility due to the title. Okay, so let's move on to the synopsis for this episode, and we're going to break it down, then we're going to go on to the photos for the episode. So Wally speeds back into Central City, Kid Flash returns to Central City with a zen attitude and new tricks up his sleeve. While thrilled to see his family again, Wally confides to Barry that he returns because he thinks that there is something wrong with the Speed Force. Meanwhile, Zisco returns from his fact-finding mission across Earth Prime. Okay, so the first bit in the synopsis obviously suggests, you know, Kid Flash is coming back. He's back because, number one, he wants to see his family, but there is, like, a bigger reason 
due to the speed force he thinks something's wrong with the speed force he's got a few new tricks up his sleeve so i'm guessing he's got some new powers or something like that and maybe that links him more into the speed force maybe he's very in tune because you know that's sort of the zen way i don't know i don't really like that word zen but that's sort of like the idea that you're in tune with yourself and maybe he's in tune with like the speed force and he can tell something's up and so that's why he returns and then you got Cisco coming back from his fat finding mission across Earth Prime basically Carlos wasn't there for the filming for like the past three episodes or something like that so they came up with some sort of excuse that he was off like finding all these facts I think the last time we saw Cisco he was talking about you know all these matters like after crisis how they've you know changed and we've seen this in the past few episodes and I think that's what he's been doing apparently off screen obviously we know that it's because he wasn't there on set but that is their excuse for this okay so now let's move on to the photos for that same episode the death of the speed force we've got Iris as she's pouring like some white wine very kind of sinister still you know that this version of Iris is not our normal version of Iris so it's like a copy or like a mirror version who is working with the new mirror master okay so let's move on to the next shot we got the return of Cisco he's here he's in his sort of travel gear I guess he's been to like lots of hot places or something like that he's been like camping or whatever so he's there with Camilla then we move on we got Barry in his flash suit this is a really nice photo in front of like I guess the docks we've seen this place a few times I believe you guys can correct me if I'm wrong but like it's just a familiar location he looks really cool in the suit the suit looks great and then we move on we've got Wally returning and Wally is with everyone there is sort of this party or like a celebration going on so Joe's there Cecile's there and they're all happy he's back so Barry and Wally see each other for the first time it seems and they stop this car or like airplane from like crashing or something because you can see in the background there's like a flight attendant so I think it's an airplane although that's like a freaking gaming chair like in front of them which is kind of weird but I don't know what's going on here they've saved these people from something basically so you got Barry and Wally together they fist bump in this other photo in the same location and it's just super exciting to see them back then we got Barry inside Star Labs as he looks probably at Wally this is a nice photo as well and then we move on we've got Caitlyn Caitlyn's back is not Killer Frost I'm a bit bored of Frost to be honest because she's not really been doing much and I feel like we need more Caitlyn. I love Frost but I like her when she's more relevant. At the moment it's just been like, you know, she pops up here and then and Caitlyn's been nowhere basically. And then we move on to the next photo. We've got Barry and Wally as they're in Star Labs. They're talking, obviously talking through maybe some of their problems that they've got. This other photo we got Wally, he's standing in Star Labs again and we go back to them talking in a different location so yeah kind of crazy I can't wait to see Wally back you know we haven't seen him in a long time and I'm very much so looking forward to the return of Wally West in the death of the Speed Force episode I think that title is amazing okay so the final thing we're going to talk about is the March 17th episode of The Flash titled The Exorcism of Nash Wells obviously a reference to the god knows how many films called like the exorcism of insert name so yeah this is how the synopsis goes a dangerous new meta hits central city the flash takes on a dangerous new meta named sunshine cisco sets out to help nash and that is it so it's like a really short synopsis so something is going on with nash i think this is going to be you know the big episode where we find out more of his past more of his links to Allegra and how you know all that stuff has been teased recently with the like the different versions of Harrison Wells in his head like Reverse Flash, Sherlock and stuff like that and in regards to this new meta she's just going to be like a meta of the week I'm pretty sure so I don't think there is too much to look into as to that but anyway so Cisco's going to be helping Nash in this episode but that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching thanks for 100k we're going to be doing some special giveaways in the next week or so, and we're going to be making some special videos. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.